you guys, in this video, we are going to be showing you guys how to make this pretty tutu unicorn dress. You will need one scissor, six crochet markers, tapestry needle, four millimeter hook, 2.5 millimeter crochet hook. Okay, for the top, I will use this uh, Sinfonia. It's a sport weight. If you don't have this kind of uh, cotton yarn, you can use any sport weight or decay. Uh, for the horn, I will be using this Sinfonia. It's, the color is mango. And for the flowers, I will be using this. It's Eulali. It's cotton thread. And if you don't have this kind of material, you can use any acrylic or anything that you have available. Okay, for the skirt, uh, you will need tulle fabric. Any colors you you have available or any combinations that you like. I have this here, but I also use um, turquoise. You will also need a cardboard uh, 15 inches long, a measure tape, a little bit of masking tape, and hot glue. Okay, we're going to start by making a slip knot and then we're going to chain 73. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to make a slip knot on the first chain. Just make sure your chain is not twisted. Now chain one and for this round we are going to be working one single crochet on each chain to end. I will slip stitch on the first single crochet and I will make a chain three, one, two, and three. In the same stitch, I will make four double crochets. One, two, three, and four. Now I will skip one and two stitches, and on the third, I will make a single crochet. I will skip again two stitches, one and two, and on the next, I will make five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five. Again, skip two stitches, and on the next, make a single crochet. Skip two stitches and five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. This is how we're going to be working for this round. Okay, I did my last single crochet. I will skip these two last stitches and I will make a slip stitch on top of the chain three. And I will make one and two more slip stitch. So when you finish this, you will slip uh, stitch uh, three times. Now chain one and uh, make a single crochet in this stitch. Go to the next single crochet here and make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now look for the, we have here the five double crochets, so look for the middle one, this one, the third, and make a single crochet here. And again, make five double crochet on the next single crochet from the previous round. Two, three, four, and five. Make a single crochet on the third stitch of the next shell, and five double crochets on the next single crochet. This is how we are going to be working for the round. Okay, slip stitch on the first single crochet, and now chain three, one, two, and three, and make four double crochet in the same space. One, two, three, and four. So with the chain three at the beginning, we have five double crochets. Uh, okay, go to the, skip two stitches and make a single crochet on the third um, stitch from the shell below. Go to the next single crochet and make five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Now go to the third stitch from the next shell and make a single crochet, and five double crochet on the next single crochet. Two, 
three, four, and five. Okay, you just repeat this around. Okay, now I did my last single crochet and I will slip stitch on the third chain like this. I will slip stitch two more times. And from this round and on, we're going to be repeating round three and four. Okay, so for this one, just make a single crochet and then the five double crochets here. Okay, so from now on, just keep repeating the round three and four until you have 10 um, rows in total. Okay, I, uh, I finished here my last uh, round. This is the number 10. So from here where I finish, I will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches and I will place a marker for the strap and I will uh, have four stitches here for the strap. And then from the strap, uh, all the way here, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stitches as well. And from here, I will count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I will place a marker, and I will mark four stitches here for the second strap. And again here, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven stitches. So in total, um, you will have seven more stitches here, so you will have 14 stitches for the underarm and four stitches for each strap and 14 stitches here for the front. Okay, for the strap, I will show you how to make it right now. Um, I will just remove this marker and I will attach my yarn and I will start by making a single crochet. I will make a single crochet on these four stitches. Chain one and turn. And make one single crochet on each stitch. We, fa we have four stitches here. In total, we will need 18 rows with four single crochet on each one. Okay, when you're done uh, making your 18 rows, just chain one and make sure to leave a long tail. I already sewed this to the dress. I will show you with this one. Take your tapestry needle. Okay, this is very easy. So from here, from the marker, we need to count seven stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On the next stitch, we're going to start like this. Go to the next stitch, take the second stitch here, and the last stitch, just like this. So one more here, and it's ready. Okay, and we are done here with the with the straps. And as you can see, we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen stitches. And we should have fourteen here underarm, 
14 on the back and another 14 here. Okay, if you don't, don't have these uh, crochet markers, just with a little tiny piece of the yarn, another color, you can just mark your stitches like this. So you don't need to have these ones. Just do something like this. Okay, the whole uh, top I will be using the four millimeter hook and for the little details, the two 25 millimeter hook. So now we're going to make a round with single crochet. So I will attach my yarn with a single crochet and I will keep making one single crochet on each stitch around. I will slip stitch on the first single crochet, chain one, and for this round, we are going to be working with single crochet on back loop, oh, I mean on front loop, sorry. Taking only the, this front loop here. Just take this loop the front and make the single crochet. Okay, I will slip stitch on the first single crochet and now I will make a chain one and then a single crochet in the same stitch. I will skip one and two stitches and on the third I will start making a, a, I call this half tri triple crochet. So I will yarn over once, go to the stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull up through one loop, yarn over and pull up through two loops, yarn over and pull up through two loops. I will be making seven of these in the same space. So I have three, four, five, six, and seven. Now skip two stitches, one and two, and on the next make a single crochet. Skip two stitches and make a seven half triple crochets. One, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. Skip two stitches and then make a single crochet. Okay, uh, continue working like this to end. Stitch on the first single crochet then I will fasten off. Okay now um, we're going to make us around here on the this loop here remember when we did the second round with single crochet we were just taking the front loop now this back loop is going to we're going to be using the, this loop now. So you can start on any stitch on the front, on this loop here on the front loop. Just make one single crochet. Now chain one and two, skip one and two stitches and make one single crochet on the next stitch. One and two chains, skip two stitches and make a single crochet. One and two. Skip one and two stitches and a single crochet on the next one. Okay, keep repeating this around the dress. Okay, here just make a slip stitch and fasten off.
Okay, for the flowers, for the ears, and for the horn, I will be using the 2.25 millimeters hoop. I will show you how to make the flowers first. So start by making a slip knot on the hook, and now chain 20. One, two, three. Okay, on the second chain from the hook, I start by making two single crochets, one and two. And for this round, we're going to be making two single crochet on each stitch. So one and two. Okay, just finish this round and I will meet you back. Okay, now chain one and turn. I will skip the first stitch and on the second stitch, I will make two double crochets. One and two. Go to the next stitch and make two double crochets. Uh, and go to the next stitch and make a slip stitch. Okay, I slip stitch here and on the next stitch I will make two double crochets. One and two. Go to the next stitch and make two double crochets. One and two. And the next stitch is going to be a slip stitch, like this. Okay, finish this round like this. Okay, a slip stitch on the last single crochet and make sure to leave a long tail. Okay, now this is where we started and I already have my tapestry needle ready. So we are going to start by folding the little petals like this. Now with the tapestry needle, just go through the flower and make a few stitches. Okay, now for the ear, I would start with the white. And we're going to be making a chain of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now we're going to uh, make a single crochet on each chain to end. Chain one and turn and make a single crochet on each stitch. For the round number three, we're going to start decreasing. So I will start on the first single crochet and pull up a loop, go to the next single crochet and pull up a loop, and now turn over and pull up to all the loops on the hook. Now make a single crochet to last two stitches okay I have two stitches here so I will make single crochet to do better like this now chain one and turn and make one single crochet on each stitch to end chain one and turn and this is a decrease round so we are going to make a single crochet to together on the first two and make one single crochet on the next and one single crochet on the next the last two are going to be together, like this. Chain one, and for this one is one single crochet on each of the stitches here, so we have four. Next round is going to be a decrease. 
so we're going to decrease twice okay we decrease twice here chain one and turn make one single crochet on each stitch and for the last round with white we are going to decrease once Okay, now oh, chain one and I, uh, I will be making a, a round with single crochet well, around the ear. And when you get here to the corner, uh, make one single crochet, chain one, and one single crochet. Now keep working with single crochet, and here make one single crochet, chain one, one single crochet, and then keep going up with one single crochet on each stitch. I already attached the pink color here on the last uh, stitch, and I will make a chain one, and I will make another round with the single crochet on each stitch. And when I get to the corners here, I will make the same single crochet, chain one and single crochet. Okay, I will make one chain here and I, I will make another single crochet and I will, I will keep working with single crochet to the next corner and I will be doing the same here, one single crochet, chain one and one single crochet and then I will finish with single crochet. And now for the horn, uh, I start by making a slip knot on the hook and we're going to be making a chain of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. On the four chain from the hook, I start making double crochet. I have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, for the next round, we're going to start decreasing, so I will make one and two chains, and I will go to the next stitch, and I will make a double crochet, and this is going to be my first decrease. Now I will make a double crochet on each of the last stitches. Again, chain one and two, and I will make a decrease here. So I will go to my next double crochet and this is going to be my first decrease and now make a double crochet on each stitch to end. Chain two and go to the next stitch and make a decrease and then one double crochet on the next two stitches. Chain two and make a decrease here and then make one double crochet on the last stitch. Chain two and make a double crochet here. Chain one and you're done. Now for the eyes, you can make it with um with felt or you can take out the tapestry needle and make it with the with a thread as well but i will make it with uh, with felt so just try to make like a something like this
and you will have something like this and I will show you how to make this And you will have something like this. You will need six of these and two of these. I will show you how to cut the tool. Uh, this cardboard here is 15 inches long. And I have my tool here. I will use a little bit of the masking tape to make sure the tool doesn't move. Just something like this. And now I will just go around the cardboard. like this I will take my scissors and go to the and cut it like this okay I can leave this right here and for these ones I will fold them because I need it to be seven inches and a half for the length of my dress so I will fold it So when we fold the tool, it's going to be seven inches and a half. Okay, we have 24 of these chain two loops, so in total you will need 42 of these uh, pieces of tool. I will show you how I add it to the dress. So I will set my hook there. I will take the piece of the tool and fold it in half. And now I will finish this with my fingers. We're going to add two on each chain to loop. You can use any colors.
Okay guys, so this is how the dress turned out and I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel for more crochet video like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a nice day. God bless you. Bye.